So, with most car manufacturers looking towards a greener future, cars are becoming quiet. Most believe that electric is the future, and yes, electric has some awesome benefits, like stupid speed. But a great part of being a petrol head is the sound, the V8 rumble. The V10 scream. The tiny inline four turbo noises. It gives a car personality, and it says a lot about the driver. I mean, a Mustang V8 says this dude loves his American muscle. A loud Civic says this dude watched a lot of Fast and the Furious, or the car is just old and it has a hole in the exhaust. Either or, a car's sound is an important part of the driving experience, and with that in mind, I decided to go back to when cars actually sounded good. These are 12 of the best sounding cars ever, in no specific order, because I want you to pick your top 5 by yourself and then let me know. Headphones are recommended for the best viewer experience. So let's start with a car I've been drooling over since it was released back in 2010, the LFA. Lexus made the engine in collaboration with Yamaha, the motorcycle company. You know, these guys. She is powered by a 4.8 litre naturally aspirated V10 that drifts to 9000 rpm and oh boy does she sing her way up to the red line. Just listen. Going from a screaming V10 to an old school V8 race car, the 1969 Ford GT40 was powered by a 4.9 litre Windsor V8. The motor produced 425 horsepower and 536 Nm of torque, and because it was a race car, there was no mufflers and crap, so you could hear every single horsey. Weird way of putting it, but hey, I said it and I'm going to stick with it. Anyways, here's a clip. Now to a V12 Mercedes powered supercar, the Pagani Zonda and specifically the Clinky cl <laughs> the Clinique Roadster because imagine having that soundtrack and no roof, wow. One day I want to be rich and experience this first hand, but for now we can look at some videos and just appreciate the sound through the speakers. Oh, and by the way, there's just five of these in the entire world. The 911 GT3 RS is one of the best, if not the best handling cars money can buy. That's not the only great thing about the GT3 RS. The 4 litre flat 6 revs to 9000 RPM and it has a ridiculously good sound. Next up, the Audi Quattro S1 E2. The Audi Quattro is a road and rally car and it's powered by a 2.1 litre inline 4 that produced 473 horsepower. This number was severely underrated. The final factory cars were rated at 592 horsepower. The Quattro S1 was one of the first cars in the World Rally Championship that took advantage of the new rules that allowed manufacturers to use cars with all wheel drive. That's where the Quattro name comes from. Quattro meaning 4. More than that, this inline 4 sounds freaking amazing.
The Carrera GT is one of the best sports cars of all time, and this is not just my opinion. The car was number 8 on the top sports cars of all times by Sports Car International. Now originally, Porsche was planning to put a flat 6 turbo motor in the Carrera GT, but those plans fell through and the V10 Carrera GT was born. With the screaming 5.7 litre V10, she could reach 60 in 3.5 seconds and had a top speed of 330 km per hour. And all this power was sent to the wheels via a 6 speed manual gearbox. And this, this is really in my top 5 of best sounding cars of all time. <laughs> The SLS AMG Black Series is a high performance variant of the SLS AMG Coupe, inspired by the SLS AMG GT3. It's powered by a 6.2 litre V8 that drifts to 8000 rpm. The naturally aspirated V8 produces a whopping 622 horsepower and 635 Nm of torque, with no forced induction. This results in a 3.2 second 0 to 60 and just one of the best sounding cars money can buy. The Ferrari F12 TDF. Now, the normal Ferrari F12 is already an awesome car, and the 6.3 litre V12 got the award for the International Best Engine of the Year in the performance category back in 2013. This V12 motor made 730 horsepower and 700 Nm of torque. Now, what happens if you take the F12, give it some steroids and put it on a diet? Well, you end up with a 770 horsepower V12 that only weighs 1.4 tons and does 0 to 200 in 7.9 seconds. Oh, and it sounds like this. <laughs> Lamborghini Murcielago LP640-4 SV. It's quite a, quite a name, but you can't make a list about great sounding cars without mentioning the legendary Lamborghini V12. The Murcielago LP670-4 SV is one of those childhood dream cars for me. It's powered by the Bizzarini V12 that first emerged alongside Lamborghini as a brand and was found in every V12 Lamborghini prior. The sound this motor produces is astonishing, and it's again one of my top 5 personally. The Dodge Charger RT446 pack. Now for a classic V8 muscle car. This thing is badass. With a massive 7.2 litre V8, you don't only hear it coming, you feel it coming down the road. This insane 60s muscle car made 400 horsepower and almost 500 foot pounds of torque back in the 60s, and it didn't use any turbo or supercharger, just old school carburetors and displacement. <laughs> The Mazda 787B. Now this is a cool race car. It's powered by a rotary and not a 2 or 3 rotor. Nope, it's a 4 rotor that produced 700 horsepower with no turbos. Now at idle all rotaries sound awesome and this one is no different. But the sound this thing emits as it's climbing through the rev range is like no other cars. I can't even describe it. This is my number one. This is the best sounding car in the world according to me. 
Now, this is up to you. For your choice, you can choose any cause, but this is my number one. Just listen. And now for the last one, the Alfa Romeo 155 V6 Di. This Alfa was a FIA Class 1 touring car. That Alfa Corsa raced from 1993 to 1996. It was powered by a high revving 2.5 litre V6 engine that produced 420 horsepower and revved to an insane 11.5 thousand RPM. The power was sent to the ground via a four wheel drive system and the car only weighed one ton. This resulted in Alfa dominating by 11 out of 22 races back in 1993. <laughs> So that is all of the cause. Now I want you to decide which five of those 12 sound the best and let me know what is your top five. Like I said, I, I haven't made my own list yet. Maybe I'll leave it in the comments depending on how many people leave their stuff. But number one is the 787. The LFA is definitely on the list. The Carrera GT, definitely on the list. Michelago, definitely on the list. So there's already four. I just have to think about number five. Probably the Pagani. So yeah, I think I've got my entire list there. Um, but if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. I've got many more list videos. Videos on specific cars, a build series on my personal car. There's a lot of stuff. There must be something you like. If you if you if you got a time, just go check it if if you want. Uh, I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers. Eh?